Alright guys, welcome back. Today I am bringing you along for a new recipe. It is something that I thought up this morning. I was looking at recipes. I wanted something different. And I saw someone had posted on Pinterest it was a vegan white chili. And while her recipe was less than appetizing to me, it got me thinking. Zucchini white chili. So that is what we're going to make today. <clears throat> and I am super excited because I've used zucchini in regular chili instead of meat and with meat. So I'm hoping that this turns out just as delicious. So, and it's dehydrated um, zucchini, so it should still have a nice bite to it even after it rehydrates. So in my pan I have a little bit of oil and some onion. We're going to get the sauteed up and then we will be using some diced tomatoes with green chilies in them or you can just use diced tomatoes um, my dehydrated zucchini and this is actually zucchini and yellow squash and then we're going to do some oregano garlic powder parsley cumin chili powder um, a can of my white um, kidney beans or cannellinis um, a thing of turkey broth. I don't have chicken broth, but I have turkey bone broth that I'm going to be using. And then some corn. I don't know if I'll put the whole bag in or not. I have cream cheese that has been sitting out because you don't want to use cold cream cheese because it won't, um, it won't mix in as well as if it's room temperature. So I've had this sitting out for a while. That's one block. I have some heavy cream that I'm going to top this off with at the end and then salt and pepper. So let's just dive right in. Okay, so we have let our onions do their thing for about five minutes. Not long because this is going to cook, so I'm not real worried about them getting super, super translucent. So to this, I'm adding my one can of tomatoes, and this has the green chilies in it. And I wanted to use the one with green chilies because usually I put jalapenos in my white chili and I make it like a jalapeno popper white chili but I don't have any jalapenos so I figured this is my next best thing so I also usually use crushed tomatoes or petite dice but this is just gonna have to work so get those in there stir around and make sure nothing's gonna be sticking to the bottom and then we'll go ahead and put in our quart of chicken broth or turkey broth actually not chicken broth although it smells amazing Stick that in there and I am using the whole quart because we will be rehydrating zucchini in it <clears throat> and I want to make sure I have enough liquid so have that in there let's get our zucchini see if I can show you the seal on this this has been sealed for six months I believe Whew. nice seal there and that seal bring it back over um and i'm just gonna eyeball oh it smells straight up like zucchini in there mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. get a fair amount and what i love about doing this recipe is if it turns out to be too bland i can always throw in some of my home canned chicken in it and then voila I have chicken chili with the added benefit of zucchini. So, <coughs> I already have a backup plan to my dish, just in case it doesn't work out. Um, so now I'm going to add some parsley, some oregano, and this is the perfect day to do this too. It is rainy. It has been rainy for a week now. It's warm, but it is rainy. And I'm just feeling, feeling the gloom and this curl up on the couch. Mm-mm. Delicious. That was garlic powder, by the way. I guess I should stop talking and start doing my recipe. This is cumin. Just a fair amount of that. Maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half. And then some chili powder. Again maybe a tablespoon of that give it a stir 
and then um, last are white beans now if you wanted to use black beans you could do that I've done black beans in my white chili before and who knows I may throw in some black beans later but right now I just want to do the white beans get them in there okay all right so now all I'm gonna do is let this um, I'm gonna put it on medium high let it come up to a boil and then I'm gonna put the lid on let it simmer for a little bit and then we'll add our corn and then at the very end we will add the cream cheese and the cream we don't want to cook the cream cheese and the corn um, just needs to uh, thaw out so I'm gonna put that in maybe 10 minutes before this dish is done so we'll let our zucchini rehydrate okay so here's what it looks like I went ahead and added the corn and I also added some salt and pepper because I forgot to earlier so this has gone for additional 10 minutes so total of 30 40 minutes of simmering and now I've turned off the heat and we're gonna add our block of cream cheese <clears throat> and this is just normal cream cheese it's not low fat or anything although I'm sure it would be just as good with low fat <clears throat> so we're gonna let this um, just sit in here and melt and get all nice and creamy and then we're gonna taste it see if it needs anything um, and then we're going to plate it up and eat it because I'm starving. So, I hope that you enjoyed um, watching this and stay tuned for the final product. Alright, so, I did not end up adding cream. It did need a little more cumin and I put a little more cumin in. But other than that, it was perfect. And I went ahead and added my norms for white chili. So, some sour cream and some cheddar cheese. So, we are going to stir it up and taste this and I'm so excited it smells so good and hopefully it has enough spice if not I can always add more to my bowl I don't want to add it to the whole pot mm. oh my you don't miss the chicken you really don't it still has a little, the zucchini still has some texture, so you have that. It's, this is good. This is really, really good. Mmm. Okay. Well, I'm going to end this video so that I can eat. I hope that you subscribe if you haven't already so that you never miss a recipe or anything that I am doing. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.